hello and welcome to another video on this video we will speak about uh, another version of the KS clone the version 2.90 it is the list on according to internet forums and aliexpress and all of these platforms from where you can buy i use this version for a few times and it is i tell you honestly it's the most stable if you compare with uh, 270 or 280 this is much more stable and never have issues or i mean like uh, issues to shut down the program or to have errors or something like that when he run the programs of course you'll have issues when you will try to program if this protocol is not available but when we'll speak about functionality of the software itself the 2.90 it never shut down or have these bugs but it is not different than 2.53 have the same protocols but as i said it is more stable and he didn't have issue until now and i believe this is the maybe the eight times when i use this version on this laptop on mine because on the windows 10 from what i noticed they are not so stable comparing with windows 7 i don't know for much reason Maybe because it's a clone program and it's uh, no desire to be managed on uh, Windows 7. Maybe. I don't know. Okay, we go for Audi. And this is E4. with 2.7 yes this is the issue also 16 cp 34 and this time i will try to use it uh, to read it with kiss like most of the time i telling you it uh, doesn't have a so good uh, connection the case with ADC 16 on BM but on Audi it is different story and we will proceed now to read this one we will read on, on CAN first of all you should extract the ID I call this to see if you have connection And if your version, case version 2.8 or 2.70, it works and you don't have problems, don't buy these uh, things because this is also another fake. The purpose of this video is to show you and to inform you, in my case, this version was much better than other ones. switch on switch off it's too many times i believe it doesn't have connection or no at least you have connection okay this is uh, there are our informations we save this one
uh, not all the time i mentioned to forget you you can have connection with this issue through obd Now the procedure of reading will start soon. As you can notice it takes 12 minutes. It's quite long. And after that I will connect also Galetto because I know it's if this clone is not to play on these issues. Okay, I will come back when it's reading is finished and maybe I will try also with Galetto or if not I will make the video directly showing you writing back of this data, okay? And the reading is finished, one eternity later but it's finished. And now I'm back to the case. I'm ready to write this uh, data back. I modify something only for purpose of this video to showing you if this version 2.90 or this case clone doesn't matter is 2.90 or 2.80 it is able to make the checksum correction. And after that, I will proceed to write back the original uh, files. Okay. Here I modify something, I delete only one error. And now we will proceed to write the data back. As I said, with no checksum correction. And after that, we will attempt to start the car. On the beginning of the video, I didn't want to go so long with this video, but I said, what not? Because there are a few subscribers who ask me about this uh, checksum correction, if this clone is able to do. And I tell you honest, all the time I use program who make the checksum correction. I, I never trust these things. And I thought it's much better if I will show it than to tell you. It can be possible to be okay if it's also possible to don't start the car, I'm not so sure. From my experience, based on this issue, the writing Procedure should be much faster. And as I said earlier, it will go much quicker. And after that, we will attempt to start the car. I will come back when the writing is finished. And it's almost finished. You notice this uh, device was blocked, okay? This happens when you don't make the checksum correction. And now what we will do, we will try to start the car and let's see if we will start or not.
and you notice the car starts and I will tell you also why the car starts because before that this car have a software already manipulated it was the original software but I noticed on the program the EGR it was deactivated and of course after that they make the checks and correction and they put the, that data and if the checks and correction was done once after that this uh, clone it is able to to write the data we don't have a problem it happens to me also with fc 200 from uh, peugeot first time i write this da data back and i told it can make the checks and correction on this uh, edc 17 uh, c50 i believe it was from this uh, peugeot but after that when i check the, the data from the from the damp it was also something modified over there and a checksum it was proceed a checksum correction and after that i modify something there and the car starts and few weeks later i have also work to do on the another car on peugeot partner i believe yeah partner it was the small transporter the guy want to deactivate the adblue i proceed this I read the data, he connected the server, he said he the checks and correction is done. I start the car once and second the car never starts after that, okay? You notice this engine works. I will start the engine again. And we will attempt to start the car again, okay? And as you can notice the car starts. Then to don't make this video too long. I will give you advice, never trust this one, you saw what happens, it will tell you the device is blocked, if you don't have uh, the correction or the um, file done with another uh, programmer, you are fucked up, okay, now usually the car doesn't start, you will be not so lucky, okay, after this procedure, I will uh, write now the original uh, files back, okay, I hope this video, it was useful for you, and I hope you don't make the mistake, to don't uh, make the checksum correction. It was only to show you, and I hope you are scary enough to don't make this mistake, okay? You should learn something. See us in the next video. Bye-bye.